You want this bone? You look like a man who wants a bone. Pick up that bone. Get the bone. Well, hello there. And welcome back to the Skellyverse. Pick up the bone. Pick it up. Get the bone. Get it. Pick it up. He's not gonna pick it up. He's busy. Look at him. Too busy. Oh, whoops. <laughs> pick up the bone. All right, he's not gonna pick it up. Too good. Fine. Keep your stupid block. Well, this man right here, uh, Mr. Petty Fights, is our villager uh, slapper. Whatever. He's gonna slap him in the knees with that, uh, what is that? Uh, piece of diorite? Gross. I mean, I guess. Whatever you want. Petty Fights, name suggested by Coin Operated Bean. So thank you for that. It's kind of like Betty White, Rip Betty White, that we have at our other villager trading hall. But also, he's a petty green dude and he will just slap you for no damn reason. Look at him. And he won't pick up the bone. Pick up the bone. All right. Done with you. Anyway. Last time we built this and this extensive machinery behind here, which it, it it works, kinda. I mean, look at that, functional, functionable. Also a word, I don't know. I mean, it's okay, but I kinda wanna redo it. I don't like the design. And I don't like the mechanism. I figured out a better way to do this. So uh, I guess first things first, let's just tear this down and start over. Still nothing. Zero bone action. Anyway, that's all gone. Now, let's rebuild it. Here it is, there we go, perfect, wonderful, absolutely 100% amazing. And it does function, it is functionable, which as we learned is a very fine word, and it's faster, it's faster and it's more consistent. The other one, sometimes it didn't quite work right because there was a, uh, what you call it? T flip flop. T flip flops are also known as toggles. That's the word Skeletone was trying to think of. A kajigger under there that did things such as stuff the hell am i trying where did i get this carrot oh lordy they've given me the carrots now quit tossing bread all day it's the most annoying thing <laughs> oh it's carrots yep that's carrots we know what you're trying to accomplish there <sighs> all right great Thanks. Okay, you know what? Just give me all those carrots. Any more? You done? Just uh, put these in here temporarily. Okay, moving on. Oh boy, he's right there. All right, if we can just sneak in here real quick without this guy. Okay, he's distracted. Wonderful. Uh, would like some blocks. Hold on, stand by. Blocks. Okay, there we go. Ah, you suck. You non bone old and fool. Okay, so here's here's what we got here. We got the lever up there. The lever powers a block. That block powers this piston. The piston extends the wool. Back behind the wool, you can see we have a redstone block and a repeater. And uh, when this wool comes down here, it completes the circuit. So this lights up. This here repeater lights up, activates the power on this wool block which inverts the torch turns it off and lowers this piston and the reason we did this this way is because it is tileable so these circuits will not interfere with each other being next to each other as they are and our bad frenemy petty fights here is going to be walking around in this general area back here this is his containment zone and then when a villager 
comes down, badoop, then he will be able to smack them with his piece of diorite. Let's look at one of these in the middle. There you go. So I'm a villager. I'm two blocks high. I can't fit through here. As a skeleton person, yes, I can fit through here. My head just barely grazes it. Villagers, very tall, cannot fit. Wonderful. So they can come down here and then he'll see him and he'll be like, I hate this guy. Smack, smack. And then once he's zombified, we'll bring him up and then we can cure him for the better rates. So that's the plan here. Come here, stupid doe. Okay. Good. Good. Yes. Good. Fine. Okay. A little bit of dirt. Never hurt. Now, is this working the way we want it to? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to go get some more calcite. Ran out of calcite in there, but those should be covered like that. And then if we just... Uh, Let's see. We'll just sneak our way over here. Yes, okay, there's no way for him to do anything but run around back here and wait for someone to be murdered. The bowl. Can he get out of there? Can he get on there? No, he cannot. Perfect. Ha! Your lanky legs have betrayed you once again. Okay, we got this now. And then all we have to do next is trick a bunch of villagers into going in there and putting down their workstations right here. So that is next on the to-do list. And boy, it's gonna suck. Let's go. I'm in a cleaning kind of mood. Cleaning and organizing. Look at all this trash. I suppose that is pretty rare, but let's take advantage. There are actually quite a few items in my pockets that, well, they're trash. Trash. What do we do with trash? Well, and it just so happens we have a, oh Lord, a zip right out here in the, well, the graceful list of fashions. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, so it just so happens we have the world's greatest trash can. Not the case. The world's greatest trash can was from a previous episode, but this is a uh, functionable trash can. This 404 chunk that coin operated Rob and I dug out. It is good for garbaggio. Trash, 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 trash. Uh, what else? Trash, so much trash in here. Now that I think about it, you know what? This needs some work. After uh, 1.18, you know, uh, the upgrade, all of this bedrock that was under here got turned into deep slates. And we actually have another 64 Y levels here. So uh, yeah, basically there's more. More down here to dig. Let me see if I can get Coin Operator Rob on here. He loves digging. Where are you at? You down here? Oh, God. There he is. Oh, they got him. Ooh, sound effects. Clink, clink, clink. Oh, let me ask you a question. Okay. How do you feel about digging? Grant's like me. He is a digger. Let's pretend I'm holding up a stylish piece of amber. Because Grant's like me. He's a digger. Yes, pro digging. I take a pro digging stance. <laughs> I figured you might. Oh, someone just punched me into the void. I'm in a glass box of emotion. So I'm pro digging. There, we landed on pro digging. Good. That's good because look, look at this nonsense down here. See all this? This used to be bedrock under here. Remember that? Oh. No, no, it's deep slate. That's deep slate. We can dig right through that. Oh, man, it's all Swiss cheesy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can dig pretty much 64 levels more down, and then we'll hit bedrock again. Did you just see a... Was there just a sword sticking out of here? Very possible. Take that. <laughs> Ow, stop it. Uh, yeah, i will prob probably have to take this down, too, because... Well, one, there was no reason to put it up here. It was just for fun. And for two, there's a glow squid up there. I don't know, like if you leave it, there will just be a weird floaty cubey thing. I mean, uh, yeah. Occasionally rain pigmen, but that won't be our fault. Correct. Uh, yeah, so I figured, you know, I was just throwing trash in here and then I remembered that, yeah, we got a lot to dig. So, uh, want to do some digging? Yeah, didn't plan on someone randomly being like, you know what, your world, it's different dimensions now. Yeah, isn't that nice?
Yes, well, it has been quite some time since that last clip. As you can see with your human eyes, we completed the dig and all the glass. Look at that shiny down here to bedrock and everything. Got a little bit more lava and uh, exciting stuff. And you can see up here, right there, where the random portal cube is, that used to be the ground floor. And now it is here. Don't know why we did that, but it was, I guess, necessary. This is now also a three rocket job to get, to get out of here. So that's exciting, too. Uh, we're going to head back in here now to the village trading hall that we were working on before we got really distracted. And we were going to actually fill them dudes up in there with the... OK, well, that's open forever down here into the access area. We were about to try to fill these dudes up here, which I just did a little bit ago. And I will show you it looked a lot like this. Yeah, almost had enough guys. Missing two more dudes. So I left my little rail infrastructure here. I finally figured out how to get them in there without taking damage. You got to get them to here, that open, and then you just gently tap them. Tap them in there. Then when they're in there, close this up, knock out the cart, and they're fine. Though a lot of these dudes did take some damage. And I think it'll be fine. Hopefully. Well, if they die, we can just replace them. No, 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 you didn't hear it. It's that totally your life is, it has value, not to worry. Uh, and so we have tasked these boys here with them, making them more babies, which they should be doing. And then we can finish throwing them in there. And then we also have brewing stands. Hooray, because we want all these men to become alchemists. Oh, there they go. Making another baby. Let's watch it poop out. There it goes. Two babies. That's exactly what we need. Apparently they had eight on deck. So we will just need two more and then they can stay there forever, I guess. So we're going to do that now. We're going to put these in here. Become an alchemist. Ooh, look at you. Ooh. OK, so they're called clerics, but essentially they're alchemists because they ply the trade of turning the unwanted rotten flesh into the wanted XP bottles, which if that's not transmutation, I don't know what it is. And shazam! There we go. Perfect. Okay, these boxes here, which were collected from the nether, from our gold farm, they are key to our procedure. Transmutating the unwanted into the wanted. The trash into the treasure. Let us grab a healthy amount of shulker boxes we found in the past couple episodes. As it turns out, quite a lot of these. Let's take all these and fill them up with flesh. Hey, hey. Oh, getting a little crossways. OK. All right. There we go. Very good. And here we are at our beautiful nether terminus, which is kind of loaded. There's some weird distance loading stuff going on in this version of Minecraft. It doesn't seem to respect your distance. There's a time toilet. And here's our fabulous nether mansion. And here is our glorious tower. It gets us up onto the roof of the nether. Let's see if this still works. We have to watch out for uh, the pig mans, not these mans, the other ones, because uh, we not wearing any gold at the moment. What's down here? Ooh, gold. I could wear that kind of a peasant wear. Yeah, these guys, piglins. Got to watch out for them. All right. I guess let's see if this works. I don't necessarily have high hopes. It's been broken for a while. Hey, look at this. It's actually working. Oh, so close. Ow. Maybe one of these is broken. Is that what's going on here? We can come back to that at another point. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, that one's broken. You got to fix it, but it looks like it would actually work. Anyway, here is our path to the roof of the nether. This uh, horrible snorting up here is our piglin trading hall, which is from many episodes ago, and there's a lot of technology behind the scenes here. <laughs> Very fine setup. It uh, We auto trade with them, dispensing the gold, and then we cart it off to our sorting storage system over here. So while I'm here, may as well stock up on essentials. What we really want is way up there, rotten flesh. OK, at a certain point, we were just uh, destroying rotten flesh automatically. 
Hopefully, though, we... Boy, that's going pretty hard. Uh, but we should have plenty left over. Okay, that's pretty good. We have the two we started with, plus one, two, three, four, four, four more. Uh, actually, five more. Almost a full one. And then these we were not able to fill. Need to do some more AFK. Don't have time for that right now. But we have enough to get going. So let's head back. Chickens forever. Ah! I thought I heard shenanigans. Hello? This man is invisible. What you got for me? Trash, trash, trash. Trash, trash, trash. 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 Ow, what? The? I'm looking at trash over here. All right. Situation has resolved itself. You making the babies while I'm gone? Tiny babies. Haven't had a chance to grow up. But we do now have a bunch of flesh, so I'm going to get to trading and make these guys my best friends. Okay, we're almost ready here. I rolled these two boys out here. This man is still a baby man, so we're waiting on him to grow up. And in order to get the best value for our trades, we're going to have to expose our volunteers to some character building hardship in the form of Petty Fights, who is just raring to go back there. He's on it. So we just need Baby Man to do his business and grow. Here's that Baby Man. And then we will proceed with phase whatever the hell. Got this whole box ready to go. However, still a baby. Grow up. Is this the very definition of patience? Or is this the very definition of insanity? One of these times I'm going to go through and he's going to be grown up. That's for sure. Whether or not I'll still be sane at that point remains to be seen. Grow up! Grow up! Okay. I went and made some tea and did some other stuff, so hopefully he's not a baby anymore. Damn it! Grow the hell up! How long does it even take for them to grow up anyway? What? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow, look at that. He grew up. What a guy. Been here whole time and we sure surely we love him he is a very valued member of our society okay now for some character building hardships Hmm, mostly cured now. Good, but we can do better. <laughs> also, as it turns out, Petty Fights is kind of obsessed with me. He will track me unless I put myself in a glass box of emotion. Listen. Ah, perfection. He's got to do all of this over again. Wonderful. Eh, pretty good. We can do even better. All right, now, with the help of Petty Fights, we have now zombified and cured these guys a total of five times, which I believe is the maximum time. So this should be the best possible trade that we can get. I don't think it, it is even possible to get it any lower. I might do a test with one of these guys just to see if maybe I miscounted and it does get a little lower, but still, that's pretty good. A seven rotten flesh into an emerald is pretty decent. So now I just have to trade with all these guys a whole bunch of times and unlock all of their trades. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Well, that actually didn't take quite as long as I thought. You can see I've repaired all my gear and I've gotten quite a few levels and quite a few excess emeralds, but they are all now masters, which unlocks the master trade, which is currently one emerald for a bottle of enchanting. So seven rotten flesh basically becomes one bottle of enchanting. And that 
is our alchemical transmutation, and all these dudes have been unlocked to their full potential. It didn't actually take a lot of resources either. You can see here kind of what we ended up with. So half of this box was filled with rotten flesh, used all that, turned it into emeralds, and then all this other stuff as I went through unlocking their trades. So this is kind of pointless, but bonus. Let's just get rid of these emeralds real quick. Okay, now we can do the final experiment. We'll grab some flesh here. And uh, let's just see what one round through these guys does. Because there's restocking and we're going to have to watch out for that. But let's just see what we can do. Okay. I'm going to go through and get all this and we'll see what it does. Okay, so that was one round through the boys there. Uh, they do restock a couple times a day, so we could potentially hit this a few times or just kind of like AFK here, pop back in, grab some more stuff. But uh, we ended up with the stack and three quarters. Bottles Oh Enchanting actually won more because I accidentally threw one for some reason. Damn it. We went through a decent amount of rotten flesh here. That's what we have left from our original stack. So once all this gets turned into Bottles of Enchanting, actually be pretty good. I think we have a productive process here. The alchemical transmutation machine is alive. But unfortunately, that is all the time that we have for today. So go ahead, leave a comment. I try to respond to every single one. And until next time, peace out.